So here I am, back again. As you can hear, my voice is so weird, it's different. It feels like my voice is gone, it feels like I lost 8 kilos. I feel so dehydrated. My first hot air balloon experience, high in the sky, overlooking beautiful Luxor. It's pretty hot. What an experience. Look at where we are. We are in the sky in Egypt. Hey mom, look at me. <laughs> I'm. You called your mom? Hot air ballooning. Have you called your mom? You did. I right? did. I called my dad. Did you? <laughs> Don't forget to call your mom. Definitely one of the best experiences in my life. Not to forget to thank the legend who made this all possible for me, the balloon pilot. <laughs> so humble. Okay. Yes, Grateful he is. The pilot. So here we are, guys, enjoying my breakfast. Currently, we are at the Hajib Hot Chicken Soup Temple, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I'm not allowed to bring my camera in. So make sure to check out this YouTube channel and don't forget to take the LCA course. Guys, I just did a course. Check my Instagram if you want to see. I upgraded my color grading, editing. I learned Photoshop, I learned Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, everything. In one minute, that's all it takes. 15 seconds section. I'm so tired. <laughs> For the second place, I'm all tubing or the... We are back with the legendary tour guide. And this time, I'm able to bring my camera inside. So let me show you around. Beautiful. How old is this place? This place was, was built 1470 before Christ. The architect at this time called Senenmut. Senenmut was also believed to be the lover of Queen Hatshepsut. Ah. According to some evidence, one of them was in this cave, up to one of the caves on top of the on top of this mountain, yes. which is actually you can see there. See, I'm pointing it out. Back again. Oh my god, such a long day. The past days, one day feels like five days. Today felt like having four, four long days in one longer day. Currently we are on a cruise, on a felucca, that's how they call it here, having dinner. And the dinner is gonna be the same dinner as we had in the restaurant two days ago. Actually, we have been there two times in a row. We did the cooking class over there, we had dinner over there. The food was so good and it's named Sofra. And Sofra invited us for uh, this trip on the Feluca. And now we're gonna have dinner, but the dinner is gonna be insane. Look at those gains. Still alive? I am. I actually feel alright. I had a power nap. You had? I'm yeah. so crazy, and we know. Such a legend. Got you. What are we doing tonight? Working out. <laughs> having a massage. 
So here we are back in the hotel and this view is absolutely stunning. We had a great day, we had a great day. But you know what's the most important part of the day? Moving your body. So let's make ourselves ready and cross the gym again. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Set. Grow. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Vamos. I won. Yay! Personal trainer abroad. <laughs> I've never worked out harder in my life in 30 minutes. Exhausted. Best part is we now have a massage and I'm just gonna be so calm. <sighs> well deserved. Enjoy. You can travel and work out. Yep. It's not about where, it's about who, who you are. The difference between who you are and you, who you want to be is what you do. Welcome to a new episode of Rate the Plate. Actually, today is a very special edition. It's Rate the Table. <sighs> 10 out of 10. Hey, <laughs> what we got over there? Yeah, where did you come from? Back in action, baby. Where did you come? Max, what's the plan? Eat everything. Nothing left. How many eggs do we have? I guess eight. Easily. Eight eggs. Eight eggs. One oatmeal. big bowl of oatmeal. Pastries, sausage, cheeses, meats. <laughs> All in here. All in here. Here we are. The guys are waiting for me. The crew is waiting for me. Currently I'm on the way. I just felt a bit sick. I regret having dinner outside of the hotel yesterday night. I went to a local place. The benefits of eating in a local restaurant is it's cheap. Oops. And it feels good. But on the other side, you take the risk for food poisoning. And I feel so terrible. But I'm back. Boom! New day. I feel a bit sick, but we are about to do something really, really excited. Luxor, you have been great, but now it's time to move on to our next adventure. The upcoming five days, we're gonna spend our days on a boat with the same crew, same legend. Are you ready? I'm ready. But now, let's see the boat, how it looks. I can't wait. Yo, you. I'm back You're here again. again. Yep. Yeah. Huh? Back with you guys. I left you in Cairo. Get ready for full four days full of pranks, bro. And guys, this is my legend. The two cut to the right and the left at the beginning. Don't cry. No, I will not. Actually, it's really funny. This doesn't look like a boat at all. From the inside, you would say it's a house. But wow. Wow! First time experiencing something like this. It doesn't look like a boat. No, it looks like a house. My own house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So blessed! Can't believe it. Everything I ever dreamed of is coming true. My wildest dreams. Wow, 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 wow. Law of attraction, baby. We don't chase, we attract. Boys will be boys. Woo! Just started. <laughs> Yesterday it was actually really funny. I met him after a few days, but I seemed not happy at all because I was sick. So when I met him, I was like, yo, Muharram. But from the inside, I was like, Muharram. <laughs> you made it, baby. Just I know you love me. Thank you. 
Currently I'm on the way. I just felt a bit sick. I regret having dinner outside of the hotel yesterday night. I went to a local place. The benefits of eating in a local restaurant is it's cheap. Oops. And it feels good. But on the other side, you take the risk for food poisoning. And I feel so terrible. So here I am, back again. As you can hear, my voice is so weird, it's different. It feels like my voice is gone, it feels like I lost 8 kilos. I feel so dehydrated. I was food poisoned, I was throwing up all night. If I took a sip of water or a bite of food, I would throw up immediately. So the past 72 hours has been crazy wild. Especially the second night, I wasn't able to sleep. I was throwing up all night. I maybe woke up 10 or 12 times, throwing up, back to sleep, throwing up, back to sleep. I went to the hospital, the Egyptian one. What I realized over there, how privileged I am in life. I saw people almost dying and I felt so bad that the fact that I just enter the building and I would and they helped me immediately people were waiting for a long time but they just helped me immediately because I was able to pay for it I just realized it's horrible to be sick but it's worse that that you can't find anyone to help you so my experience at the Egyptian hospital even made me realize that I'm still blessed I'm sick and hurts but I'm I'm very blessed in this life that I can pay for medicines I can pay for health <sighs> so today's gonna be the first day I'm going to be out it has been a crazy ride I spent almost 90% of my time up in that room so time to get back upstairs to enjoy the view yay after five days on the boat time for my first dinner on the boat with everyone past the few days this was my dinner every night wait is that Saul? it's me i thought you went back to amsterdam no oh, you've been here i was All hiding time? downstairs oh. wow hey, hey Ruby. hello she cheated a lot I... no 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 yes, 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 yes. that's what they do when i'm not around they start to eat everything they like but thank god I have my inspectors. Yep. They took a lot of pictures for me. Well, Adam's like Randall from Recess. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is he's cheating also. Me? Mm -hmm. When? So it's Max who's taking me? the pictures, not me. Okay, guys, ready? Ready? One, two. Food four. poisoning part two. No, call your mom. Yay. Woo! Thank you so much. Thank you. The man who brought me to the hospital. Thank you so much, Suleiman. Thanks for taking care of me. Thank you. We'll see you again. This guy, when I felt really sick, he brought me to the hospital. He brought me food. He <laughs> made me food. <laughs> Great people. Assalamu alaikum. Damn. The past five days has been a crazy journey for me. One day I was enjoying life. The next day I was laying in bed like a little baby throwing up, feeling sick, losing weight. Today is the first day I'm feeling good again. We are currently in the Nubian village. We stayed here for one night. Today we are leaving to Cairo. So let's make some more adventures. It's not why me, it's try me. In life it's always gonna be like this. It's like a, ro it's like a roller coaster. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. I lost weight, I was sick, but it's time to recover and, and fight my back again. So, like I told you, nothing is personal, but how you react, that's something personal. For me, it's part of life. So let's get back to work. Yeah, you missed a lot of fun. Make sure you check the other guys, their YouTube, check you, Ruby's YouTube, check Christian's YouTube. They made a lot of cool vlogs about the boat and about everything. I missed so check it out and you're gonna enjoy it a lot Adios